look, you know, we have a CTA where it's post-COVID now, and there's still 500,000 um, riders down. And, and, and the CTA president and the, and, and the mayor would like to, 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 you know, try to convince us that somehow this is an aftermath of COVID. Everything is blamed on COVID, as you know. And 500,000 fewer li- riders. The reason that there are 500,000 fewer riders is p- because on a per capita basis, they, they've had more violent crime than they've ever had in their history. And in fact, I think since in the last 10 years, something like 32 people have been murdered on public transportation. Well, I, I want to get to crime, but it, it seems strange to not say that COVID is responsible. Working from home, new hybrid working isn't responsible for having an impact on public transportation. Well, it, it, it's had an in, impact on public transportation, but, you know, the economy has been reopened for the better part of the year. To, to say that being a half a million riders down, you know, when I... You know, when I go to the red line, when I talk about riders, their big concern is crime. They don't see cops. They have unarmed security, uh, um, minimum wage security, untrained security, basically, you know, walking the platforms or basically at the CTA stations who very often run away when there's a real fight or a threatening situation. 